love meeting. Pancakes this morning. Sun's coming up. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We're just packing up here at Parkview River Camp, north of La Cola in the Big High Country. Um, if you haven't seen the last episode, go back and have a look at it. It's a cracker. This one, we're just going to cruise. First things first this morning, we're going to get into La Cola and get some fuel. We're running pretty low. And then we're going to head up the Tamborita Road and up towards uh, Kelly Lane and the back of the Pinnacles there. And then we'll probably work out, we're not sure where we'll camp tonight, and then we'll probably work our way down around the Crooked River, maybe up the Brewery Creek track and um, camp at Devil's Hollow. We've only got a couple of days left and we've got to be home. Yeah, I've also, um, yesterday I've lost the winch controller. So you've got to be careful now on what tracks we do take. So I can't even spool in the rest of the cable we got loose out, but that's tied up on the bull bar. Um, I think I've put it down on the bull bar and we've driven off and it's fallen off. So yeah, um, but yeah, we'll just have to be a bit, bit careful from now on. The middle of everywhere, La Cola. We're just at Benison Lookout on the Tamboretha Road, just up out of La Cola. Now we're at the top of uh, Dingo Hill Track. The other day we'll camp down the bottom of it. So anyway, we're going to duck in this way and go around to Kelly Lane and check out McMichael's hut and Kelly's hut that way, I think. Anyhow, we'll see where we end up. Just pulled up at McMichael's hut. It's a little, cool little hut, it's got a little creek behind us there, running away. Let's go and have a look. Knock, knock. Yeah, nice. This one's in pretty good nick. This one's even got a sink. How good are they? And flies. More March flies. Sink. 
got one camping spot there and down here is the creek let's have a look at the creek just um here at kelly lane or yeah on kelly lane this is kelly hut so just having a look at this hut this looks like a pretty cool hut Nice bit of stone stacking for that fireplace. Mm. Bit of wood. Pretty cool hut. Hello. At the car park to the Pinnacles, about to walk up. What do you reckon, Tash, of the Pinnacles so far? I can't breathe. So Barnsdale's hidden. Pretty cold out here, Tash. Yeah. At least it's only a slight breeze. You can hear the wind down there. Yeah. Why is it more so down there? I don't know. Just pulled up at this uh, little spot on uh, Pinnacles, up near the Pinnacles. We just pulled off down a little side track, and we're just about to um, get the fire going because it's pretty cold. We're quickly set up. Natasha's making a cuppa inside. We're just going to have a cuppa next to the fire before we think about dinner. So we'll just quickly light the fire and relax a bit. Pretty cold up here tonight. It's already um, it's already nine degrees or something. So Well guys, it's a cold one tonight. It's down to five degrees already and it's like um, 10 to eight. We're having a bit of a late cook up because we got here late, but um, yeah, it was only supposed to get down to like eight or nine, but it's already five, pretty chilly. But tonight we're just cooking up some lamb on the fire and we got some, uh, we're just gonna have some mash with it, just a nice easy one. And we got um, normal potato and sweet potato, sweet potato in there as well, have mash like that. Nice easy one, throw a couple of logs on the fire and a couple of drinks and then we'll uh, have an early one I reckon because it's going to be a chilly one. Tasha's just talking about some electric blanket or something already. I don't know.
using the bush table tonight. Yeah. Oh. for that ash. Oh, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> we used garlic butter in the mash. The temperature is 6.2. Just like that, we're in the cloud. Um. this morning um, just down below the pinnacles um, we're in the cloud early in the morning and then it's just cleared up to a beautiful day so we've got the camper dry packed up bit of a late start 10 o'clock but it doesn't matter we're gonna head down into Dargo we're just gonna go back along the top here and take uh, Marathon Road it's just an easy road down to the bottom into Dargo up the Dargo High Plains and we might camp at Devil's Hollow we'll see what's happening we may do blue rag We'll see what's happening as well. We're um, pushing for time. We've got to be home tomorrow, Arvo. Yeah, so we'll see how we go. All right, let's go. Stopped in at Dargo there and had a little bit of lunch, got a little bit of fuel, and now we're headed up the Dargo My Plains Road. So it's already pretty late, it's about two o'clock already, so we'll see how far we get.
before we got to Blue Rag, we just pulled down a side track and we've come down to this uh, little camping spot here looking back over Hotham. It's a couple of nice little spots along this track and um, we were going to dump the camper here and then go, go up to Blue Rag to Salvo, but we decided we're just going to chill out here with that view, so that's pretty good. And um, if we get up early enough in the morning, we'll go and do Blue Rag. We'll pack up here, go over there and we'll um, dump the camper at the bottom. Put a, put, I've got a lock that goes through the trig. And then um, we'll head up, do that, come back down, and then um, see if we can make it home tomorrow. Um, cutting it a bit fine, but anyhow, so much to do and see. That's been 10 days down here and need another 20. Yeah, so, but anyhow, we can always come back. So now we're just gonna kick back here for a couple of hours and enjoy the Arvo. Got an IPA from the T-Bone Brewing Company, another one from the brewery in Tassie that the guys give me up at Turon River. Thanks guys. Yeah, I'll give this a go. beer, good campsite, lovely wife with me by my side. How come I'm so list down, so far down the list? I always leave the best for last. <laughs> like this campsite, look. Hmm? <laughs> We've had some good ones this trip, hey? Mm. Some good campsites. Yeah. And some good beers. This is the best one though. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Cheers, Cheers. for happy yesterday. Anniversary for yesterday. Yeah, happy anniversary. Are you trying to get me drunk? Maybe. Mm. Don't you want to? Nice. What's that one? Moscato. Yeah, green. A rose.
All right, bit of a bush cook up tonight. We're just using what we got left. Um, I didn't get the fire pit out, so we're just using a frying pan here with some coals underneath. And we're gonna make some just some simple burgers, but um, just on bread, because that's all we could get. All the meat for this trip we've had in the little freezer in the camper, so it's been pretty good. We cryovacked it all and put it in the freezer, so we're down to the last couple of things because this is the last night. So just bread, lettuce, tomato and burger sauce. Sounds good. We haven't had bread for ages, eh? Mm We just started on the blue rag track we just come up about 100 or so meters and we're going to leave the trailer there um just locked it all put a lock through the hitch chock the wheels hopefully it's still there when we come back now we're going to head on up to blue rag i don't know the weather is a bit ordinary but we'll head up anyhow and have a look take tash up there she hasn't been up there before and yeah see how we go
got a Highlands Copperhead on the track. Pretty sure that's what it is. Come on, buddy, that's it. Off you go. I don't want to run you over. He's looking for any sort of bit of warmth there. He's so cold. Yeah, he's flattened his head out. He's not happy on him. That's it, mate. Off the track. Move it. Move it all, loser. Well guys, we've just hooked the camper back on. We've come down the bottom. 
back down the bottom of Blue Rag Range Track. Um, we got some pretty good weather up there. It was it was not too bad. We spent a bit bit longer than we wanted to up there. Uh, met some great people, and we're just about to head on home. So we're back on the Dargo High Plains Road. We're just going to drive up to the end here where it meets the tar air up, and drive on home. So that brings our Victorian High Country trip to an end. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. I'm pretty sure there'll be about maybe three parts. So if you watched all three or if you watched this far, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and maybe share it around with some friends who might enjoy it. Yeah. So thank you. Right. Well guys, we've just hooked the camper back on, come off Blu-ray. Well guys, yeah.